So I want to talk to you guys about my first fight, okay? My first amateur boxing fight, uh, boxing bout. All right, so let's get to it. I see my opponent on the way in um, to the changing room, and I'm just like, yo, this guy is mahusive, right? Like, he was huge. I thought, all right, you know, he would be taller than me, but he'd be skinny. But no, nah, he wasn't. He was taller than me, and he had some meat on him. I was like, ain't no way he weighs the same as me. I was looking at him, I was like, all right, cool. What can I pick from, what What things can I learn from him? Like, you know, yeah, what, what can I tell about him from just looking at him? I was like, all right, he's probably going to obviously try to, box me on the outside he might be more technically good uh, good than me he might he might look at boxing me and i might have to look at fighting him but we'll have to see and i thought oh he's got some heavy locks so he's probably got a strong neck meaning he's probably got a strong chin so i'm not gonna knock him out all right that's what i was thinking so i was thinking of strategies i haven't been able to fight a lot of taller people when i go to other gyms i fight taller people but majority of the time i'm not fighting taller people i'm fighting people who are um similar height to me um i'm five foot nine so i fight people who are similar height to me even some people who are smaller than me so i was a bit like oh man well how am i supposed to deal with a taller opponent i don't need to get on the inside but how do i get on the inside right but anyway so i was just thinking of strategy the whole time i was so nervous i asked my coaches i asked my training partners and a lot of them were like look look they gave me advice and said but you're gonna forget this anyway trust me like the minute that bell goes <laughs> your mind will go blank i said cool I say less anyway before the fight i wasn't that nervous like when I first got to the venue, but as the hours went on, waiting to my fight, I got really, really nervous, right? Like really, really uneasy. I was just like, I just wanted to like get going, you know, get it over and done with. So I walked to the ring and by the time I'm like outside the ring, showing my, my raps to the uh, ref, my knees are actually shaking and I'm telling myself, yo, calm down. Don't worry, man. Like it's going to be over. This is literally just six minutes low key, right? Or eight minutes if you count the breaks. So like, yeah, don't worry, man. Like it'll be over before you know it. So I step in and my, my first thought was, look, just don't think, just go in to destroy your opponent. I thought I had a good gas tank initially because I thought I was on my strengths. I thought my strengths were my defense. I'm really good at evading punches and that I had good fitness because I'd been doing so many sprints leading up to the fight. Um, but as you can hear my voice, I'm kind of sick. And I do believe that this played a role when it came to my fitness. I'm not sure because you can never know because it was the next day that I felt completely sick. But anyway, I'm not sure. But anyway, so the fight starts. And the minute the fight starts, I go straight for him. Like I just go straight in to destroy him. There's no reasoning in my mind. I'm like, I'm not even thinking about punches. I'm throwing wide punches. And that's what I'm thinking. I'm just thinking, let me go in and destroy this guy. All right? Let me try to, you know, intimidate him with, with aggression. Normally, I'm not actually this aggressive but when in training. But, you know, whatever. So we fight and I miscalculate. I, I forget, I'm trying to get on the inside because I don't want him to use his, his reach. But I go too close to the point where I'm smothering my punches. So none of my punches really land clean, right? So I'm just like, oh man, like, you know, what am I supposed to do? So at this point, my, my corner's telling me to calm down. My guy, let me calm down and let me not get too close because I am genuinely just smothering my punches and that's not helping. Right here the ref tells him off for slapping punches. I do want to say my punches were wild because I was just thinking to, to land. I wasn't thinking about anything. I was just thinking I, I need to get in on his re re like reach. Let me just land punches. So this isn't how I normally box, but um, is in like the punch style. But I just thought that's what I needed to do for this. As you can see, I was going or I was like, there was so much steam in me. So, you know, I just went out of control right there. I missed the swing and I just completely lost my balance. Here, I still had some energy, but as the second round went on, I'm not going to lie. My fitness started to just fade out completely. As you can see, my punches here are wide as As you can see, they are wild. But it's just, I was just, I, I, I can't even explain it. I was just trying to get this guy by all means. But I thought, let me not box him. Let me actually fight him. Let me like kind of brawl with him rather than actually box 
if that makes any sense so that's why my punches were kind of wild um but yeah as this round went on my fitness just started to go away so right here i start to fatigue a lot more um, i'm still like i'm still fighting but i'm, I'm a lot more tired that, than than i usually am so like right here i'm too tired and then i go i go to get him with a left hook and then I actually i actually miss my hook so i spin around and then i'm like oh snap like i don't want to hit the back of my head but i was cool So here my fitness is going that's why you can see i'm i'm not as snappy and i'm actually just taking i'm getting hit now like which which you know shouldn't be happening at this point i'm not gonna lie i started to to realize i wasn't getting hurt by his punches which was probably just the adrenaline so i started to like as because i was tired anyway i started to just let myself get hit because i was just too tired <laughs> i was just too tired and at this point right here my fitness was completely gone i can literally like like feel it i just i just had nothing i just felt like there was nothing in me so I, I was i was literally trying i was telling myself like yo keep fighting like come on man like you're gonna lose this round if you don't but i was just so 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 very tired but i was trying to keep my composure at the same time and still not not give away too much room but as you can see here i was i was just sloppy i was just way too tired i tripped up as well and at this point i was initiating the clinches finally had energy again you know so i felt i felt somewhat sharp but i didn't feel as sharp so i was still tired but i had more composure how about that i didn't have energy but i had way more composure as you can see i was being a lot more evasive because i was like all right cool i want to convincingly win this round on points basically um because I, I was convinced i won the first round i wasn't sure about the second round so i was like cool let me win this the third round convincingly though so let me make sure i don't get hit and i hit him So as you can see, I was, I was being a lot more evasive. And I, it was sort of like I was trying to outbox an, an, a toilet fire, which you normally wouldn't do. For some reason, I thought, let me, like, let me, I don't know, be the slick boxer. What's the point of me trying to brawl and fight someone who I can outbox? So that became my focus. My focus became to actually just outbox him. Here I was tired, but I was just, I was just focused on not letting myself get hit. So that's all I was focusing on, which was which was actually you know doing pretty good, you know. And then here comes the last punch. As you can see, I was extremely tired, but I was like, I'm still gonna land the last punch, man. So I knew it was 10 seconds left. Bang! That was it for the fight, man. I got the W, man. I was so gassed, man. Honestly, this was, this meant so much to me. Like, I just really wanted to win my first fight, give myself a confidence boost because I actually do struggle with confidence, believe it or not. Um, especially when it comes to like, I actually do struggle with confidence in general. So I wanted to win convincingly to give myself a confidence boost. Um, so that I don't know, like, I just feel like it would affect how I approach my my future fight. So yeah, that's how it went, man. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, I am, I do want to apologize, not apologize, but if I disappointed some of you guys, um, I didn't fight how I wanted to fight. I'm not gonna lie. Um, as I said, like after after the when I after the, the second round, I was like, man, I miscalculated. This guy is not as uh like. An efficient boxer as me so why was i brawling with him i shouldn't have been brawling as i did in the first round i should have actually been a lot more composed paced myself and uh outboxed him because i could have because as you've seen in the thir third round it, i could i genuinely think i could have done that for the whole fight so i was very frustrated and i'm not gonna lie i'm still am so I'm, i've got a lot of stuff i need to work on i'm not gonna be as wild um uh and stuff like that and um 
got to work on my footwork because I lost, I lost my balance a lot of times and I tripped a few times as well. Um, and I got to work on keeping my left hand up and, uh, and yeah, yeah, that's it really. And not smothering my punches. I don't want to get too close. I want to get close in range, but not too close. So I got to work on that and respect for my opponent, man. He gave it back to me, but yeah, man, I hope you guys, uh, enjoyed this video. I've got another fight coming up in around three weeks time, just under three weeks. So, uh, you know, I might drop the location for you lot because this one's in my hometown. I didn't want you guys to know, like, you know, like, you know, like, I don't know, just in case I just get like, I don't know, in case someone gets upset about one of my videos and then just comes through to, oh shit, I just said my, and then it comes through to my town and, um, you know, I don't know, want smoke with me. So that's why, um. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, my next one's going to be somewhere else. I don't fully remember, but somewhere else. So I might share you guys the location. If I'm not mistaken, two people who might be subscribers came through. Because there was two people who was there who was watching and asked for a picture of me. I might be wrong, but they didn't know me as, as Barfour or Junior. They knew me as b Flex. So I'm like, maybe there were some supporters. And if so, bro, respect. Thank you guys for pulling for pulling up. I don't know how you guys knew where I was fighting. Um, I think you guys came with the Northampton crew, actually. But nonetheless, thank you for, you know, your support. And uh, yeah, man, I'm going to post a lot more boxing content along with calisthenics. I'm still training calisthenics, so don't you guys worry. Um, I just wanted to focus on this fight. I was so nervous. This was my first fight. So I'm going to be posting a lot more even leading up to my next fight um, in three weeks. Because, you know, I, I can now. I'm not too nervous. So yeah, that's all. Anyways, beautiful flex. Hope you like this video. I'm out.